Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about what is value in project management and how do projects and programs contribute to creating value for an organization. And on top of that, we will discuss the system which creates the value in an organization. And there will be many things we will discuss in today's video, which are added by the PM Box 7 to the PMP and are uh, quite good topics to know and understand as a project or program manager and to utilize and use them in our projects for their enhancement and improvements in our performance and everything. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand what is value. PM Box 7 has defined value in a very inclusive manner, which could cover any type of value or any type of definition that we might have for value. It states that it is the worth, importance, or usefulness of something. This is quite inclusive and broad definition for value. It's either worth or either importance or either usefulness. For example, assume that you are uh, adding a feature to your software or maybe like adding another floor to a building that you're residing in. By adding that additional floor or adding that additional feature to the software, what you do is you either increase the worth of that specific thing or maybe you increase the importance of that specific thing and besides that and most importantly you increase the usefulness of that specific thing another good thing about this definition of value is that it covers the definition and the the perception of value from every stakeholder's perspective in the next slide we will see how is value created as I stated earlier, we have a system of value delivery which creates deliverables. You might remember from the PM Box 6 for the project definition that we had a project is a temporary endeavor which creates a unique product result or service. So that specific and unique product service or result is called the deliverable in here. We create a deliverable and, and deliver it to the customer, to the end user, or whoever is our stakeholder on that end of our project. These deliverables in return create outcomes. Remember that deliverables, services, results, these are the immediate effects of a project, while outcomes are the longer run impacts and effects of a project. What these outcomes do is they create benefits. As we stated earlier, value could be importance, usefulness, or worth. That's how the project deliverable is going to benefit the end user, the customer, the client, whoever we are engaging with. Those customers or stakeholders or end users return value to the system of value delivery. Now, where is the system of value delivery exactly located within an organization? And here we have a box for system of value delivery. In this system of value delivery, we might have a portfolio under which might be different programs. Under programs, there might be a number of projects. Besides that, we might have another type of portfolio under which there will be programs and, and projects which are directly reporting to the portfolio. And in the program, there are obviously another project. There might be standalone programs which falls under no portfolio, and they are directly reporting to the head of the system of value delivery, which might be a PMO or whatever you call it in your own terminology. Under this program, there might be a number of projects. And besides that, there might be standalone projects which fall under no program and no portfolio in the organization. Along with the system of value delivery, we have the operations. Whatever we create as deliverables, we deliver them to the operations for further use and creating benefits off of those deliverables. Bear in mind that the decisions inside the system of value delivery are bound by the internal environment or the organization itself or the external environment, which could be the government, which could be another enterprise environmental factors on which the system of value delivery has no type of leverage and impact to change their mind and to change their decisions in regards to the projects. So what the projects and the portfolios inside the system of value delivery has to do is that to obey the rules and regulations mandated by the external environment. 
Another important thing to know for your PMP exam is the information flow in a system of value delivery. As you see in here from left to right, we have the senior leadership of an organization, which could be the C-level people, the directors, the board of directors, and uh, people in that ranks and positions. These people give the portfolios the strategy. Portfolios translate the strategies as desired outcomes. What do we want from projects? They will break down the strategy into projects and programs and give it to the program and project managers so that they can create those desired outcomes for the portfolio so the portfolio can deliver it back to the senior management. The programs and projects, what they do is they create the deliverables and give it to operations. From right to left here, there's always a reporting line. People in operations directly report to program and project managers, program and project managers report to portfolio managers, portfolio managers report to the senior leadership of the organization. And in a nutshell, the outcomes, benefits and value performance analysis is reported back from operations to the senior leadership. And obviously there are layers of program and projects and portfolios. So this is what value is in project management. And these are the terms that you should know for your PMP exam. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.